Sweet so behind me, pretty wild country, and uh, that's what we're looking for today is those washes. Uh, bright sunny day, but all that, that bubbly aerated water creates big shadowed patches underneath. And there's all sorts of fish like giant trevally, snapper, kingfish, rainbow runners will live underneath these bubbly areas. So I've got a few mates out with me today, Steve, Jason and, and uh, Barney. Of course you all know Barney's been on the show a fair bit. So we're going to take turns in driving. We're going to make sure this big engine's running the whole time because the, the ocean is pushing us in towards the rocks. So it's really, really crucial that we work as a team and uh, hopefully we're going to find a couple of nice fish. We're going to use soft plastics. Uh, they work really well in those washy areas, cast them in, let them float down those big steep walls. So they look like a wounded bait fish or something that's washed off the rocks. And those predators are just sitting there waiting to get a free food. And hopefully it's going to be one of our lures. happening down there. Oh, nice snapper. Let's go and check that out. Oh. Come there, mate. Come on. It's there. I don't think my fish is quite as good as, uh, as what Barney's got there. Beautiful snapper of oh, this magnificent little silver trevally. And it's just one of the many fish that live underneath that bubbled area in, in amongst the wash. So there's Taylor, Kingfish, trevally. And also, really nice snapper, just like this one, boys. Give us a look. Oh, oh, oh. oh nice, nice. I'll get that soft plastic out. See those big crunching teeth those snapper had. I'll just get this out and I'll show you. Mate, he's, he was, was well hooked. I don't want him to, I don't really want him to bite me there. They've got really powerful teeth and snapper had those for crunching up all sorts of shellfish and abalone. And if you have a look at this bloke, it's quite interesting actually. It's got quite quite sharp, long canines, this fella here. If we just move my finger there, check those things out. Tends to tell me that he's actually been eating more softer food to let those teeth uh, grow longer. Something that you get, you see them ground right down, there's really no teeth left at all. Well done, mate. Happy days, mate. And Jason's into the action. Well done, buddy. Yeah, Just come out of that wash, eh? Fun, buddy. Oh, nice little Sambo. Beautiful. Little Samson fish. Well, look at the colours on him. He's just a magnificent looking little specimen. And of course, they grow to such a huge size in Western Australia. They catch them, up, and, and South Australia, up near nearly 50 kilos. And this guy's got a long way to go yet, but he's just another one of those fish that's buzzing around in amongst the wash. And if you're going to do it, make sure you get, get a couple of mates. I've got, a, I've got a crew here today, and be safe. It's so easy to get yourself into trouble, and you never know what you're going to pull out of the wash. And this is just one of those terrific fish. As we said, there's Taylor, Kingfish. You know, I've caught Spanish mackerel. You never know. All right, buddy. Well done. Thanks for the fight. When you're fishing the washes, really, uh, this is my snapper soft plastic rod, and it works absolutely fine. Five-day kilo spin rod, anywhere from two and a half probably a little bit small, up to 4,000 size as far as the spin reel goes. Some 10 to 15 pound braid, 20 to 25 pound leader, and then whatever soft plastic you want, it's really gonna, uh, I guess, imitate a small bait fish or some type of food source that's going down those rocks. And then, uh, of course, the fish are gonna come along and hopefully they're gonna eat it. Got him. Yes. All right. I was throwing a soft plastic around and I thought, I'll just try something a little bit different. I used to always fish the washes with pilchards and we had a couple of fresh pilchards that we got on bait jigs today when we were collecting a little bit of live bait earlier. And uh, I thought I'd hang on to those and throw one out here now into the wash. And I think a snapper's come and eaten my, my, uh, my pilchard, I dare say. There he is straight up and onto it. I'll just pick him up. Oh, there he is. 
So it just goes to show you, we've been mainly using soft plastics, but um, it's that time of day. Things like squid, pilchards, anything like that's gonna work really well. Natural baits like kanji and, uh, and, rot and uh, red crabs and black crabs that actually live in and around that area also work really well for beautiful snapper like that. Great time of day. And uh, that's what wash fishing's all about, trying different things. And uh, the old pilchard, it's been a good bait for a long time, certainly worked then.